Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I really hope that you're doing well. Um, today I'm coming to you with a um, Louis Vuitton updated handbag collection. So many of you guys asked me to do my updated Louis Vuitton handbag collection and I know it took me so long to film this one but this happened because I was really waiting on a special bag to get it or to get it back but um, it seems like that I still had no chance to um, pick it up so I thought um, let's do it anyway this updated one so I really hope that you enjoy and I would say let's get started so my first bag that I want to show you is my let me put the camera a little bit down so my first bag that I want to show you is my Speedy Bandolier um, 25 in the Damier Ben and I've got this one last year in March or April and I sold my Speedy 30 in order to get this one and I really enjoyed this one this is actually the perfect size on me even though I really like the 30 one sometimes I need to mention that I miss my 30 but I think I like that one anyway so this is the 25 I'm about 5'3 by the way and you get the strap obviously uh, comes with it so that you can use it as a crossbody but I'll just show you some quick modeling shots and by the way guys this is my only Damier Ben bag that I still have in my collection and the bag that I was uh, waiting for you know I used to have the favorite PM in Damier Ben you know the clutch one and I sold that one because I wanted a new model with the red interior so this is the bag that I actually wanted to pick up but I still didn't so at the moment this one is the only Damier Ben bag in my collection so moving on to the monogram one my next purse is this one and this is the Samuel MM in the monogram and I got this one really don't remember maybe three years ago two three years ago and I really enjoy this bag as you see this is the Samur and you have two you know um, opening one on this side one on the other side I just um, attach the strap so that I can use it as a shoulder bag this is how I actually like to wear this bag because um, it is an actual crossbody but since I'm quite pretty, it seems like it looks quite big on me, but I mean, I use it as a crossbody bag, but I like to use it like this a little bit more. So this is the Samur, and I actually am eyeing um, for the last few months the Pochette Mati in the monogram, which is also a crossbody bag, and I put that one on my wish list, but I know that if I get the Pochette Mati, if I really decide to get that one, then I will sell the Saumur because I don't want to have just to crossbody back in the monogram. I, I cannot afford it. So I will sell that one to get the pochette metis. So not decided yet, but if I do, then I will definitely let you know through Instagram. Yeah, so let's continue to my second monogram bag, which is this beautiful Retiro in the PM size. I've got this one last year in May. So it's almost a year old and I really like this bag. It's a kind of, I don't know, like a business purse or, you know, like a ex executive purse. So this is how it looks. I just like it to wear it by hand on the crook of my arm. Then it comes with a strap that is now inside the bag and you can even use it, you know, as a shoulder bag. There you go. Here's the strap. I, by the way, have done uh, reviews on I think on all of my bags so far so um, I will put down the, below the, the links so you can go ahead and check it out so this is my Retiro um, PM in the monogram and they actually renewed this model so this one doesn't come anymore like this so they renewed it, this one with red and black leather instead of uh, Vaqueta leather which is really really beautiful at the beginning I wasn't really sure about the new model but the more I look it the more I like it the next one I want to grab back is this Eva clutch that I have and I've sold my other two ones you know in the Damia Ben and in the um, Damia Azur I just kept that one because I have all the pochettes 
the, the favorite is Damia Ben, and I still want to have it, but I have auto pochettes otherwise, you know. So this is the Eva Clutch in the monogram. And just use this one, um, you know, on my shoulder. You can use it as a clutch or it comes with a crossbody bag and then you can wear it as a crossbody clutch. Here we go, here's the strap. A really beautiful clutch. It came with me actually in so many trips and it still looks quite good. Enjoy this one. My next monogram bag is my um, more monogram, Never Fool MM. And this one I ordered last year, I believe it was end of September or October. And I actually got it only after three weeks. I'm super, super excited about this one. I'm not sure if the light is showing the right color, but it's I choose the color. Um, uh, like a hot wine, a dark wine, which is the Bordeaux and the Ivory, which is this kind of cream white on the side and the interior, I um, choose the Bordeaux as well it's like a hot or like a red wine this is the exactly red I would describe this color and super excited about this one this is how it looks on me. At the moment it's, it is stuffed with some, you know, um, air papers. It's the MM size and my only monogram that I have. Super enjoyed this one. Quite excited. There you go. Again, a quick, you know, shoot, shot. Okay, these were my monogram bags. I, don't, I do not feature my travel pieces in this video, which are my backpack. My Montsouris backpack in the monogram that I have, my key pole, and that I have also the cruiser. I don't know if you are able to see, actually not. I don't will feature my um, luxury pieces here, so I just go ahead with my bags. Otherwise, the video will be too long. So moving on to my um, Dame Azur bag. Here is my Neverfull in the Dame Azur. And this was my very first Neverfull that I got. Um, in my collection and yeah I super like this one because you know for me the Neverfull screams summer because it's an open tote bag and if it's in the in the Namia Zur even more. I like to bring this one with me on the beach, on the you know on the pool. I like actually I like the whole summer to wear this bag. I just attached here the charm that I got from Extra Gigi here on YouTube or on Instagram. I will put down below her Instagram channel. This is um, the charm that I got from her on Valentine's Day. Really, really nice. I really appreciate. And I'll show you quickly some modeling shots with this bag. So this is as well the MM size. And this is how it looks on my arm. And this is here on my crook. You know, on my, on my arm and here on, on my elbow. And I really like this uh, Nerful and it actually is the older version, you know, with the flowers interior and the fancy um, font. Then my next Damien Zur bag is this beautiful Galliera in the PM size. And I got this one two years ago, right before they discontinued it, because I um, used to have this one on my wish list. I told my sales associate that I really want to get it someone in the spring and then she was telling me oh actually this bag is going out of the collection so if you really want it you should get it and it was kind of January or February like two years ago um, so I yes I had to get it so I'm really happy that I got it even though I don't really use this bag quite often because as you know here in Switzerland the weather is always dark bad and it's rainy so we don't have really hot I mean, we do have some hot days, but it's not like a real summer for the three, four months. I don't really use that bag that much, but I try to use it as more as I can. So this is how it looks on me. It's a really beautiful hobo bag. And then here on my crook of my arm, here again, how it looks. I actually debated a few times to sell this bag because, exactly because, I was not using it that much, but since it is a discontinued bag, I'm really, you know, I don't think that I'm going to sell this bag. But if I do, I will definitely let you know. It is still in pre prestige condition. I mean, it has a little bit of patina, obviously, but really beautiful bag. Okay, 
Then the next um, Damier Azure bag that I have is this pochette as well and M. And I've sold, as I mentioned before, I've sold my Eva clutch in the Damier Azure because I have this one and I think this is enough as a clutch. I attached here my La Durée charm in the pink, hot pink um, macarons that I got in Paris this year. And this is the purse that I'm actually using at the moment. I want to show you the inside. This is the one that comes with the pouch. And at the moment I really only have my zippy coin purse in the emprunt neige. And then I have here my um, you know, pochette clé in the dame azure. And then I also put inside my you know, mobile phone. And this is how I use this clutch um, at the moment. I'll show you quickly how it looks. I also use uh, some strap with it, you know. Um, the longer one that it comes with the Eva clutch, she uses it as a crossbody bag. So this bag, I actually like to use it just as a clutch like this. Or, you know, with this gold chain that I got from Louis Vuitton as well, over my shoulders. And I do have some longer chains that I ordered off from eBay and, you know, to use it also as a shoulder bag, a crossbody bag. And I will put down below the link where I got the chains. So moving on to my next purses and I'll go ahead and show you my uh, vernis bag. And this is the Alma BB that I have in um, the, the vernis leather and the color is called Rose Velour. I've got this one almost not now, also like two years ago. I mean in June, I think it's two years ago then. And I really like this color. It's a limited color and... Uh, I'm not sure if it was an impulse, impulse buy because I did not have the Alma BB like months on my wish list. I was chit chatting with some friends and then I got actually inspired by Debbie Couture to get the Alma BB. So I went and I got it. I'm really happy about this bag. I use it, um, you know, just like this. And it comes also with a longer crossbody um, strap, which is inside. To use it as a crossbody bag. Here is how the inside looks like, and here is the strap. Let me maybe attach it and show you quickly how it looks. And actually, after I've got this one, I immediately got the other Alma Baby that I will show you as well. And I got kind of obsessed, you know, with the Alma Babies. So I wish I would even have more of these bags, but you know, sometimes you have other bags on your wish list. You don't want to, you know, fill your collection only with one particular um, bag model. So this is how it looks on me. The strap is quite good. You know, it doesn't, it's not that long. And again, I'm about 5'3". I like also to wear my bag just like this, kind of 90, 80, 90 style. There you go, my Alma um, BB in the vernis color, in the vernis leather, and the color is rose velour. Then my next vernis bag is my uh, Boulevard clutch in the Pam d'Amour, and I've got this one off uh, eBay. No, I got this one on Ricardo, which is a kind of eBay, but only for Switzerland. And this one I got it really for a great deal. Actually, this. And another bag are the only two purses that I have that I got pre-loved. So this is the uh, one of them, so the Boulevard clutch, which is a kind of wallet on a chain, you know. So you have inside some card slots. And I have not done a review on this one, but I actually want to do a comparison video between this and my wallet on chain Chanel. So again, here, this is a clutch that I can just use, you know, by hand. This strap is removable or I can use it on my shoulder and then wear it just like this. Really, really beautiful clutch. And I'm happy to have a red purse in my collection. So this is the Boulevard clutch in Palme d'Amour in the vernis finish. Moving on to my um, Epi Leathers bag. I have here my second Alma Bibi and this one is in the Epi Leather. And I was uh, talking about uh, two of my uh, pre-loved items. So this one is the second one that I got pre-owned. And I've got this one in really pristine, pristige condition because the, the seller 
just had it like for three months and then she actually didn't want it anymore and sold it and I got this one for, for a very good deal also almost two years ago it was like June or July two years ago so again this one is so chic so elegant I like to use with this one you know doing um, night out you just wear it like this it comes as well with a crossbody bag to use it as a cro um, with a strap to use it as a crossbody bag there you go my Alma Bibi in the Epi Noir. And by the way, the, the Epi leather comes all with the silver chain, with the silver hardware, I mean. So this one is my pochette accessoire NM in the Epi Noir as well, silver hardware. And I've got this one last year during Valentine's Day from my husband. And yeah, so this is uh, the, the pochette that I also like to use as a clutch. Just like it to use it like this. Or with this silver chain that I got from um, Louis Vuitton as well, like that. And since I have the Alma Bibi that comes with the long strap, I can use this uh, pochette also as a crossbody clutch. Really happy, happy about this one. My last um, Epi bag is my Conway in the Epi Noir. And I really love this style of bag. I love Noé's. I used to have a Noé in Damiazur. I even used to have a Noé in the Epi older version with the gold hardware and sold that one to get the new model. But as I mentioned in one of my recent videos, this Noé has been remodeled and so I really feel the difference. I like it's much stiffer. Uh, I think it's much stiffer, I even think it's much higher and I think this strap is even, I don't know, like longer and thinner but anyway this is how it looks on me, I could even use it as a crossbody bag if I would put it on the lowest setting because the strap here is um, adjustable Not, it's also detachable actually and adjustable I just put a pillow inside that I got from IKEA to keep my bags, you know, stuffed. So this is the Noé, the Epi Noé in black with silver hardware. And I like to use my, you know, pochette accessoire inside my Noé. Since this bag is more an open, an open bag. So moving on to my on-print bags. Here I have my Speedy Bandolier in the size 25. This is the color Aurore. It was my very first um, on-print bag, my very first Speedy Bandolier. And this one is one of my favorite bags in my collection. I really like that I went with this color. Um, originally I wanted to pick up a neutral color like a, you know, like an Infini or a Terre, like the brown one. But then I uh, decided to go with this one and I think it's really nice to have a pop of color in the bag collection. And yeah, so this is how it looks on me. Obviously it comes also with a strap, you know, which is here. And you can use it as a shoulder or crossbody. And again, this is in the size 25. And the leather feels really luxurious, really beautiful. I love the color. For me, the color is still neutral because I think I can use this color in the summer and even, you know, in fall because fall has also these kind of colors. So really like this one. Then my next on-print bag is my... Um, is this one. My Luminous PM in the color Tab. And I've sold my Neverfull in the Damier Ben, especially to get this one because I didn't want to have two similar totes. Um, I already have a Neverfull so I don't need to have another one. I was obsessed with speedies and never foods, but I had to get rid of them so to add, you know, to invest my money in other bags. So this is one of those that I really wanted and it's in the dark brown, you know, the Terre. It has a zipper closures, here has a pocket which is really handy. I even sold my Evora in the Damier Band because also of this bag, they both were looking, you know, quite similar with the zipper closure closure, you know, with this zipper pocket on the front, with the two straps here, and then 
it came also with a long strap so I thought I just need one to you know so anyway um, here I attached my La Durée charm the second one that I have in the brown that I got here in Switzerland and I've got this bag with Debbie Couture actually we met um, in Zurich here in Switzerland and yeah I purchased this bag with her so there you go this is how it looks on me on my shoulder and at the moment it is also fully stuffed with some air papers here on my crook of the arms and it comes with a strap which is inside at the moment to use it as a shoulder bag or crossbody and I really really like this bag this is also one of my favorite really beautiful happy to have this one in my collection lastly I do have my um, artsy on brand in the infinite color and this is the artsy mm and this is my last on brand bag and also the last bag that I'm featuring here in my updated bag collection so I got this one right after the um, well some months later the uh, some months later I've got the luminous and it's in the infinite color it's a kind of dark navy blue sometimes it even shows as a black bag and this one is really a beautiful bag but guys I don't use this bag I don't know why I don't really use it it seems like I I don't know it seems like I grab other bags when I'm on the run I don't grab any time you know this bag maybe because I feel it's too big on me I don't know what do you guys think Maybe I think it's too big, maybe I think it's too heavy. I have all the bags, they don't feel heavy like this one. I don't know why this feels so heavy. Oh, there is the charm here. I just saw it inside. And this is such a pretty bag. I'll show you quickly. I do wear actually today my espadrilles, my Chanel espadrilles in navy blue. And actually this outfit would match this bag or this bag would match this outfit with my navy, navy blue espadrilles and my navy blue purse so this is how it looks no idea why I don't really grab this bag I should use it quite I should use it more but I don't know yeah so there you go guys this was my updated Louis Vuitton handbag collection I know I sold quite a few bags um, that I had in my collection but I also added other ones like some of the Chanel's I added some Celine's and yeah these bags are really expensive and I could not just keep all my Louis Vuitton and you know add new bags so I had to decide to sell some of the bags that were quite similar and I had to downsize a little bit I still want to downsize but at the moment I think I'm happy and I just want to enjoy what I have and yeah guys, if you have any questions, just ask me in the comment box below. I try to put all the links in the description description box, you know, of the reviews of my bags. If I don't have any review, I will try to do it. I really hope that you enjoyed and yeah, so see you soon on my next one. Bye guys!